Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Ben here from Arcade Origins, and today we're gonna be doing a review on the Hi-Y60 Distro Plate and also the Push Connect fittings by height. So, watch to the end if you wanna see how we install this Distro Plate and also the Push Connect on the Hi-Y60 case. Let's get it. Recently, Height sent over their Y60 Distro Plate and Push Connects. The Y60 Distro is specifically designed for their high Y60 case, which is one of the most popular cases out there in the market and definitely one of our favorites too. As custom blue water cooling becoming more and more popular in the PC building industry, Hi decided to join the game. We have seen some third party option Distro Plate that people use for their high Y60. I think that is probably the reason why Hi decided to come up with their own since the demand is there. Now, this Distro Plate is priced at $99.99 which I think it's a fair price considering how well this thing is designed and built. Keep in mind though, pump is not included in the price so you have to purchase your own pump whether it will be a D5 or a DDC pump. The Push Connect comes in a pack of 6 and is priced at $29.99 but we're gonna get into that in just a second. Alright so right out of the box you can already see that this thing is made with quality, it's super sturdy has a little bit of weight to it. It comes with two type of mounting option. This one is a DDC and this is a D5 pump mounting option. Uh, it also comes with several screws here for you to mount your distro plate onto your Hi Y60 case as well as the bracket but we're gonna get into this in a bit here. If you're mounting your distro plate with a D5 pump you want to know that this uh, the hole in the middle center here is your inlet and the one on top is your outlet. So since the center part is your inlet your fluid will always come back uh, to here and it will always come out from the top over here so your fluid will goes up to this hole over here so your first tubing and fitting is always going to go here and it's either going to go to your CPU or your GPU and then once you route that into one of your components it's going to come back to here which is uh, if you look at it from the front it's going to go from here and come out from here and it's gonna go back out to here to maybe your CPU or your GPU and maybe even radiator at this point. It's gonna go back into your distro plate over here at the top one. So from here, it's a little bit more tricky. You can either choose to uh, go back down to the bottom from to here or you can choose to go back to the top. So you can kind of choose from whichever way you wanna go to. Uh, this one did, really didn't make a difference, but if you want to like kind of split into two ways, you can always, you know, do both uh, fittings. But you always want to make sure your uh, your tube and fittings, your fluid's gonna always go back to the uh, top on these two holes over here, so it can like fill all the way to the bottom, and then it can you can mount your drain port either to here, here, or actually even here too. But you want to make sure it always go back into the pump over here so it makes it like a loop that's why it's called custom loop yep that's the way it should be it's the same with the ddc pump as well the center one is always the inlet because you want the fluid to go back in here and then the outlet is always on the top like that i don't have any pump in the studio with me at the moment so i can't really demonstrate how it will look like with a D5 or DDC pump mounted onto the distro plate. So if you guys want us to build a custom low water cooling system using this high Y60 distro plate in a high Y60 case, be sure to like and subscribe down below. We have a very, very exciting project coming up. So stay tuned for that. So other than the high distro plate that they sent us, they also sent us some push connect fittings also made by Hyde. I'm excited to try this out and see how they look like on the distro plate. Let's get unboxing. Now it comes with a pack of six and it only has black version. They don't have any white fittings for this one. Now let's try this on the distro plate real quick. As you can see here, these are the height push connect fittings. They look pretty good on here, especially on the distro plate itself. And they also have really good quality. One thing I do want to mention though, these are not like your usual custom loop water cooling fittings because these are push connect. I'll show you guys what a regular fitting looks like that's not a push connect. So these are my Corsair white hardline fittings. So what you do is you will put the cover and the o-ring on your 14 millimeters hardline tubing and you will insert your fittings in here. Make sure it's tight and secure and then you will screw the cover back on to the fittings like that and make sure it's securely tightened and stuff. So that's how you usually mount a 
tubing onto a fittings like that. But with the height push connect, it eliminates the cover and the O-ring installation. So what you do is you just push your hardline tubing all the way in there and make sure it's tight. And just like that, there you have it. And if you can see that it's not coming out at all, it's like tight in there. So I'm actually not sure how to take this out. But yeah, these are pretty neat. There's definitely pros and cons to this. So I can totally see how convenient this is once you have your fittings measure right and stuff. All you have to do is just push it in and then there you go. But what if you mess up some adjustment on the length of the tubing and you want to do some minor tweaking and stuff, then it would be really hard to like take it out. And as you can see, it kind of like leaves a little mark here on your tubing because of the teeth and the push connect fitting. That's definitely one thing to consider when it comes to the high push connect fittings. I kind of like them. Um, if you're good at not making mistakes, then this is definitely a fitting for you. That's the difference there. All right, now you might be wondering how it looks like with the RGB and stuff. So this one has a ARGB cables on the high distro plate. Essentially what you have to do is uh, you just plug in the ARGB cable onto your motherboard and then use your motherboard software to control the lighting on the distro plate. It also has a splitter adapter. So let's say you're using uh, some other water cooling component that needs ARGB cable. This is definitely a good addition to it. So you can split your ARGB cable across your custom the water cooling system components so you're, you don't run out of ARGB cables or you, don't, you won't have the need to purchase a ARGB controller for or ARGB parts. I'm gonna put this on my test bench to kind of show you guys what it looks like with the RGB and stuff running on the distro plate. Be right back. Okay, here's my test bench. It has a B450F ASUS RG Strix motherboard on it. But wait a second. Okay, so since this is a B450F motherboard, uh, it looks like I don't have any ARGB header on my test bench motherboard here. So both of these header are the 12 RGB cable. They are not addressable RGB. They are just uh, four pin instead of the three pin that we're gonna be using for this one. So my test bench actually won't work with the distro plate ARGB over here. So I do have another idea. I think I can plug this one into my personal rig. I do have an empty ARGB header slot for this uh, distro plate. So I can just plug it in and kind of show you guys what the RGB looks like on the distro plate here. So let's go. So I went ahead and plugged this distro plate onto my personal rig. And then here is the result of the RGB light coming out from the side over here. Uh, as you can see, it's just a single LED strip that connects onto the distro plate on the side here. And then it's just one cable that goes into your ARGB header on your motherboard. I know you guys are probably wondering how the hell are we gonna install the distro plate on a high y 60 case? That is why Hi also sent us a high y 60 case for us to install this distro plate on. One sec. Now I'm pretty sure all of you guys know the high distro plate is gonna go on to here. But the question is, I know you guys probably know about the high Y60 LCD screen panel that goes onto the side over here as well. Are they able to fit both? No. So you can only choose either the distro plate or the LCD screen panel. That's it. So if you're going with the LCD screen panel, you can really do the distro plate because it will be in the way and vice versa with the uh, distro plate as well. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the screen panel out and I'll show you guys how to install the distro plate on here. So I actually should have read the manual first before I uh, went ahead and uninstalled the screen panel over here. We actually don't even have to do that. So always read your manual so you don't make a mistake like I do. All right, I'm just gonna put this back. So it comes with two brackets over here for your distro plate. So the bigger one is actually for the top and it goes like that. 
So you're gonna have to mount it onto your case first before you mount the bracket onto your distro plate. So that's what we're gonna do first and then we'll figure out the bottom in a second. So according to the manual, the screw you'll be needing to mount this onto the top over here is the original screw that comes out from the screen panel. So you're gonna use the original screws and then mount this bracket onto the top like that. The bottom one is gonna go to here. Now you just install this on, just like that, just like that. And then you screw the top two screws on there and I think it should be good. All right, so this is what it looks like after mounting the distro plate onto the case itself. Uh, I kind of just want to show you guys a little bit of how it looks like from the back here. As you can see here, it's pretty sturdy on here and also once you put the tubing and all this stuff onto the distro plate it will feel even more sturdy and won't go anywhere for sure so the bottom bracket over here it kind of hook onto the little gap over here so the distro plate won't go anywhere once it's uh, hooked into there and then the only thing that secure the distro plate on the top are these two screws and it you had you just have to screw it onto the top of the case and then this screw screw essentially just hold the whole entire distro plate in place but yeah i think it looks it looks pretty good the distro plate so with the argb cable management stuff you can actually fit it through the top and then to the back I'll just, i'm just gonna show you guys just a second so let's go ahead and pop the top panel off Okay, so you can actually feed the ARGB cable through here and up like that and then just goes into this little hole here so you won't even see it in the chassis like that looks a lot cleaner with the cable rounding onto the top instead of just feed it straight into this little hole here so I think that's a that's the best way to route the ARGB cable. But yeah, I like how this distro play looks in the case. All right, so there's one more thing that you guys need to know before purchasing this and the push connect. So essentially, Hi only comes with a regular push connect fitting like this one, but the distro play is gonna be mounted in a 45 degree angle. So a lot of your components are actually, you actually have to make a 45 degree bend to able to uh, make everything goes parallel with the case like in that way and also that way to, like to your radiator to the side or to the top you always have to do a 45 degree otherwise it will look really weird they actually don't sell any any 45 degree angle fittings i think that's the only downside about this push connect fitting so if they have like any 45 degree fittings that would be really great for this build because this is only made for the high y60 case it makes the job a lot more challenging in my opinion because you always have to do a 45 degree bend to your gpu cpu or your radiator so if you guys are planning to use the distro plate and the high y60 push connect just keep in mind you will have to do a lot of 45 degree bend so make sure you have the tool for that now Comment down below and let us know if you guys would like to see a custom loop water cooling system with this high Y60 distro. And if you have to choose between using the LCD screen and the Y60 distro plate, which one would you choose? We'd love to know. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!